My name is uh, Eric Poinceau and I'm French and I work for the, the city of Strasbourg, France, which is a city of roughly uh, 300,000 people. And I'm a provincial uh, radicalization local coordinator for the city and I've been three years since uh, early 2016. I've been working for the city uh, in different positions uh, for the past 10 years. And how do you tackle radicalization in your work and what are the biggest challenges you face? We've been implementing a an action plan since um, 2016, since early 2016, and the idea, uh, roughly speaking, is to tackle the root causes, uh, so to say, of radicalization. So we don't approach radicalization only from a security point of view, but we take a much broader approach and we try to provide answers from a social, cultural integration and so on, identity uh, and so on and so forth point of view. What I would say are the biggest challenges is that first, uh, of course, radicalization is a very new and difficult issue. And we have to admit, we still don't know that much about radicalization. We still have a lot of things to um, to understand, a lot of things to discover uh, when it comes to radicalization. Also, it's still a challenge to get people, professionals, to work together uh, on the subject uh, of radicalization. We want to really implement a multi-agency strategy and it is a challenge uh, as such. Uh, I have very, very good relation with various uh, state agencies at the local level. I have to admit, it may not be necessarily the case in all departments uh, throughout the country, but in my case, I work very closely with uh, the prefecture, the judiciary, the prison system, the board of education, and so on and so forth. It's very a big plus. Cooperation with different partners, local stations, civil city organizations can be a bit tricky sometimes and it would be in general but even more so when it comes to radicalization because the subject itself is very complicated and also very intimidating. What's most rewarding about your work in tackling radicalization? It's not yet another public policy so to speak. Uh, it's not a very institutionalized field of public action. It's very moving uh, and it's not that often in your career that you have to, the opportunity to um, participate in the um, formation, so to speak, of a new public policy. You, you have to invent a lot of things, you have to be innovative and you, are, and you, you, you have the opportunity to put your own ideas forward. We had in Strasbourg a team from Montreal CPRLV, the Center for the Prevention of Radicalization Leading to Violence, and we invited them to present their um, training on the um, alveol is the French name, so it's hexagon, which is a risk assessment tool, very innovative, very useful, and it's absolutely, it's actually the first time they were in France to present th this tool. How has RAN helped you? Is there anything more you would like or expect from RAN? It's really great to, to have the opportunity to uh, meet practitioners from different EU countries and uh, do a bit of networking and get new ideas and uh, also see um, how radicalization is tackled in different countries. Just one example, uh, France, of course, is a very centralized country and we have a national strategy against radicalization, uh, whereas in uh, different countries, like in the Netherlands, for example, the system is much more decentralized. So you can see that there, is, there isn't just one best way. You have different models and you get inspired from that. How could the run improve? There are some gaps. Some countries are not there well represented and uh, maybe it would be a good idea to have a, a more, a broader representation of all EU countries. This was Eric Poinceau, Prevention of Radicalization Project Coordinator from Strasbourg in France. Eric took part at the meeting of the RAN Local Working Group on far-right extremism on a local level. Please visit the website of the Radicalization Awareness Network to find more information about its activities and stay tuned for our next monthly interview podcast.